What is good, C-Squad? Today we're watching the PJs. And if you want more PJs, then like and subscribe. Also, I appreciate you guys being very supportive as of lately. The last two days, I took some time off to hang out with family. So thank you. PJs. I have to be honest, this show has the best intro song I've ever heard. The PJ's intro just really makes me just want to like go to church, you know? In terms of the most catchy intro song, it's either this or the Garfield show. <laughs> what an amazing way to start. <laughs> I mean, at that point, just eat the cereal. Hmm. They're good as seven days of community events celebrating the richness and beauty of the projects. Boring. You hear me snoring over here, don't you? I don't know what Muriel is on about. From what you guys have said, there is nothing pretty about the projects. Projects wide gumbo cook-off. Didn't I tell y'all to stop flapping your gumbo? Hey, sign me up. Everybody knows my stock rocks. My chicken is kicking and my shiz rip is the shiz nip. And no one can touch your spicy sausage. Yeah, especially with my crabs all over it. Gross, even winked. That's nasty. Shout out Cleveland. I am the greatest gumbo chef in all the projects. At last, a peaceful end to this bit of East Coast, West Coast gumbo wall. Stupak, you did not die in vain. What is a gumbo? Is that like a project delicacy? What is a gumbo in the projects? Oh, it's like shrimp and sausage. That actually looks really good. <laughs> This is only a dress rehearsal. Wait, are they doing this on top of the roof? They're on top of this tall ass building? That cannot be safe. And if anybody ever found out about my recipes, I'd have to kill them. Tomato, onion, garlic, what the celery, bacon grease, more bacon grease, and what's this sauce? Leah Parrots, 1985, I should think. Mario, get my gun. That's crazy to just know the entire recipe by just tasting it. It wasn't even like a full bowl, it was just like a little sample. I wish I knew how to do that, that'd be cool. But it seems to be missing something. I know, it needs some bay leaves. Three bay leaves. Hey, get away from my gumbo. Silence. Yeah, much better. <laughs> <laughs> what in the ratatouille shit is this? Also, I'm not a cook, but do bay leaves actually change the taste of food? I thought bay leaves were just to make things look better. Mm. Oh. Chocolate box! You're destroying it! Ugh, I just added chocolate to that? Gross. I don't know if any of you feel this way, but when I was younger, I used to love chocolate, if you couldn't tell. But as I've gotten older, chocolate is just not as good. I notice I've eaten less and less chocolate as I've grown up. This is the tastiest thing I've had in my mouth all day! Hey, right back at you. <laughs> Gross. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to picture that in my head. You should try it. But I gotta warn y'all, I have the refined taste of an aristocrat. <laughs> I've had better. <laughs> oh, Lord, it's like there's a house party in my mouth. It would be a sin against all that is unholy if you don't enter the contest and crush the super. What the hell's the point of even doing a contest anymore? They all openly said his shit tasted better. I mean, Thurgood has literally indirectly forfeited. See there, Thurgood, if you put your mind to it, you can beat a 10 year old boy. Oh, Lord, it burns, Lord, it burns, it's sticking to the roof of my mouth. God, why, why do you torment me so? Oh, damn. Is it safe to- I thought it was hella unsafe to put out a fire when it's on someone with a fire extinguisher. Can't that like suffocate people? <gasps> so graceful. So effortless. God, he's beautiful. Juicy is just a natural cook. What is it because he's fat? Because let me tell you, I am not a cook. By the way, I would laugh my ass off if this episode ended with a rat being inside Juicy's pants or something. Just controlling him. Actually, now that I think about it, that sounds really bad. <laughs> Remember, I've tasted the best gumbos and money and food Sam's can buy. And it takes a lot to impress Holy Mary Wilson, mother of Motown. What's wrong, Super? Is it sad that I'm salivating right now? I really want to try gumbo now. That's not even me trying to like act all white or anything. I'm just saying I really want to try gumbo. The name itself is fun to say, gumbo. Is there any gumbo near me? Literally nobody around me sells gumbos. God damn it. Curse my white neighborhood. <laughs> Oh, 
my god, that looks so good. I literally just ate and now I'm hungry. Thurgood. Gumbo's my passion, Muriel. Gumbo's my only love. Now, Thurgood, I'm sure if you think about it, there's something else you love. Muriel, I don't want a 40. I just threw up. Fucking Thurgood, always thinking about his 40s. And there's Juicy working on his secret gumbo recipe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the Bronco. If I watch this tape, I'll find out what's in Juicy's stock. And then I can improve upon it and beat him at his own game. Thurgood, you were literally right next to him while he was making it. <laughs> I thought that said something completely different. First contest, but you know a thing or two about soul food. He's from Korea. <laughs> Tell us, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy's apron. That's so fucked. Tell us, Jimmy. Do you cook meat by the pound or from the pound? <laughs> that is so messed up. I will say, however, that wordplay was pretty good. Our next contestant is Smokey. By the way, when I first saw this character, I didn't know what that was. But then you guys said that that was a person. I thought that was a monkey. He's just a homeless guy. I'd like to give a shout out to my cardiologist who gave me a bypass instead of an artificial heart. Yeah. Thanks for keeping it real, ha, huh, yeah. Um, what? Who invented charcoal? Uh, charcoal. Boy, you really are pathetic, aren't you? <sighs> that wasn't even a joke, that was just really sad. What the hell? Gentlemen, stop looking and start cooking. Imagine if Thurgood nor the kid wins. Oh my god, I could see the homeless guy winning, actually. Here I am plotting against him. When he put his little clogged heart and soul into this contest, Juicy deserves to win. And as Judy is my judge, Juicy will win. But how? I wonder how Thurgood's gonna fuck this up. A cologne, Thurgood. Hey, that's a good idea, Thurgood. <sighs> ah, that's the smell of Thurgood. <laughs> that's so gross. But for once, it's actually for something good. Good. I'm in a bit of a pickle here. I'd like to announce that your gumbo is good, but it seems to have left me temporarily blind. <laughs> Wait, so hold on. Is this gumbo actually good? I have an announcement. Uh, Walter, the crowd is this way. Now you better announce the winner. And quick, I I'm starting to lose my motor control. <laughs> I was going to say, putting cologne in a drink, that's probably really dangerous. The winner of today's contest is... Well, Juicy, I guess the best man won. Smokey! What? Folks, I've got to tell you. I fucking called it. I called it. Shows like these always pull the rug under your feet. I knew he was gonna win. I can see. I can see. I also think I can fly. His gumbo literally cured his blindness. That's how good it was. Amigos, can I share too? Get low, Sanchez. Can't you see I'm bonding with Fatso? Why is everyone so rude to the one Mexican in the show? That hurts because I'm Mexican. <laughs> There's literal houses in the junkyard. Yeah, now this is a go-kart here. Ooh. Just line it with asbestos, strap on some aerosol cans on the back, light them up, you got yourself a Batmobile. She's a beaut, ain't she? Drive a side trash bag. Damn, you gotta give Thurgood credit. He just turned that into this. Sorry, as someone who used to be in metals classes, that's actually pretty impressive. You don't go giving cars people names. You gotta give it a name that says class, that, that says something about, about you. <laughs> <laughs> I love the running gag that Thurgood can't spell. Porsche. That's pretty funny and clever. She's magnifico, Thurgood. Yeah, she's beautiful. Aww. Maybe you can make something out of a hot water heater for us. Sure, what would you like? A hot water heater? <laughs> Here's my license of registration, sir. Get out of the car! Calvin, what are you boys doing? We're playing LAPD, Super. You wanna play? Yeah, you could type and violate my constitutional rights. <laughs> Sounds just a little racist, don't you think? I think this go-kart needs to be stolen by someone. And like most crimes, I fit the description. <laughs> Dude, this show is so fucking funny. Like, should I be laughing at that? No. Hey, this is kind of fun. <laughs> Wait, Thurgood made an actual fucking functioning go-kart? That's basically a car. Thurgood should just give up being a superintendent and just make go-karts out of shit from the junkyard. He'd be rich. Oh my fucking God. This is about to end terribly. Oh. 
All right, here we go. Why am I getting deja vu? I swear I've seen this before in Ed, Ed, and Eddie. That show from Cartoon Network, which also, if you guys want me to watch, I can. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Better pull the emergency brake. <laughs> I just love the fact that his emergency brake is a fucking tennis shoe. <laughs> Round of applause to the people that made this. That had to have taken so long to animate with it being stop motion and puppets. Super! Super! They stole it! They stole my go-kart! What's the matter, Super? I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Tenants meeting in five minutes! Can a kid just call a tenants meeting? I feel like that wouldn't work out. I'll get your card for ya. My fucking ears, Christ. Hated that. Also, nice Jaws reference. Well, I've done a profile on our thief. I'm pretty sure the perp is black. I knew it! No shit, you don't say. Aha! Uh -huh. It appears our suspect left a smashed up 40 bottle. Oh, come on now. I feel like you'd be able to find a random beer bottle everywhere in the projects. I might have known. Let's stone it. Hey. Now, now, Mrs. Avery, we not the police. We have to give him due process. I love this show's jabs at just police. This show is so funny. <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, I'm bad. Just let me do the talking. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Was that her just trying to talk? I did not like that. Let's look at the evidence. <gasps> I know this is telling me something. Nah, uh, you crazy. This isn't saying who did it. <laughs> ah. What the? The fact that these people have not caught on that it's Thurgood, it's pretty sad. It's almost as if we're watching a TV show. Alvin! Yeah, he didn't. Is this true, Josie? Is that your stationery? <sighs> but you're my best friend. We're like brothers. We've seen each other's dinks. <sighs> huh? I'm sorry, what? Also, come on, Thurgood. Don't be like this. Don't let Juicy take the fall. But I didn't steal it. I swear. <laughs> oh, Juicy, no. And this little piggy goes to juvie. Did he just say go to juvie? It's not like it was government property or private property. It was just something that they made. If only Juicy had told me the truth, I might be able to forgive him. How can someone work side by side with you, look you right in the face, and just lie? I used to feel that exact same way back when I was younger. And then I became an adult and realized everybody lies. I guess you heard I'm gonna be a bagger. My dad said to be a way to build character and be a model of discipline like him. You see, your mother made you two dozen cookies to take with you. A dozen cookies. Oh, Lord. We'll send you some. I never knew that was his father. <laughs> they look so much alike. Also, call me crazy, but I feel like being at boot camp would be better than living at the projects. Again, I'm just going off of what you guys have told me. I got something to see. Everybody quiet down. Thurgood's gonna say something stupid and I wanna hit. Yeah, thanks a lot, BB. Sit your ass down. <laughs> it's so hard to take what Thurgood says seriously. He's voiced by one of the funniest people of all time, Eddie Murphy. It's hard to take him seriously. We couldn't resist. We would just try someplace different. You know, to spice it up. Okay, so we loosened a couple of nuts. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That was just that was just funny. Baby, how could you do that? I'm double joining. <laughs> Looks like we all took it. Isn't that something? <laughs> hey, I thought we took all your stones away from you, Mrs. Avery. I can pass them as quick as you can take them. Ugh, gross. Man, grown-ups. Promise me we'll never get old. Well, the statistics are in our favor. <laughs> What a hell of a way to end an episode. I'm not gonna lie, that was a very sweet ending as well. Kind of makes me wish I was young again, you know? When you could like hang out with your friends whenever you wanted. When you're young, you just want to get older. And when you get older, you just want to be young again. And not have all the stress in life of paying bills and all that. But anyway, have a good rest of your day.